Ladies and gentlemen, Borals and Gorals, we are playing another Grixis Cube, uh, courtesy of Ryan Overturf. This is his cube, I believe. Uh, it's been pretty enjoyable. Badger says artifacts starting with Signet. God, it's, I feel like Badger just donates so much that he basically owns the stream. One thing I do want to mention ahead of time is that I have someone coming over to buy an Ikea file cabinet from me. Um, so they should be here in like an hour and a half, maybe something like that. So if I have to get up and walk away, uh, for like five minutes, that's why I'll also mention it at the time. Um, but I figured I'd say it now because you guys are going to be like, I wasn't prepared for this. And you know, I just want to let you know, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it confluence in the back? Badger, you know what, buddy? For you, I'll start with the signet. It's the least I can do for you, my friend. You're a, a huge, a humongous... <laughs> Badger, listen. Listen, buddy. Listen. Listen. The least you could do is nothing, I guess. I guess that is the least I can do. The least I could do and not feel bad about myself is... That's true. There's only three signets in the cube. That's interesting. Do what you want. Of course I will. If we're going... If we're going artifacts... <laughs> two of the three signets, guys. Oh, also Master of Ethereum. Ooh. Hmm. There are talismans too. Dang it, Haji Gulashi. Alright, so is it Rakdos Signet or is it Master of Ethereum? Ooh. It's a sin. Uh, a Master Might Wheel. Let's go Rakdos Signet. Staff of Nin? Oh, man, I love Staff of Nin. Oh, we're Staff of Ninning for sure. Staff of Nin is one of my... Sundering Titan? Oh, hot poops, man. Absolute hot poops. I was informed as the producer that I'm actually obligated to be here in the stream. It's got to be Titan. Did Badger did Badger chime in on this? Because I'm just taking Titan, right? The, the alternative is Talisman Signet. Uh, Talisman Signet, Talisman of Indulgence. And I don't think that's even close, guys. So, Five picks, five artifacts. Ryan... I'm already enjoying this cube a ton, so... Tangle wire? Tangle wire seems like shit, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't I'm not a big I like watery grave here. It's a it's a fetchable land. It's great. Uh, Tangle wire is Tangle wire doesn't feel like an artifact card, it feels like a stacks card, so I'm just like I, it's just because it's an artifact, I don't want to get trapped into playing Tangle wire. I like watery grave here. I'm gonna make sure we have mana that we can use. Also, all, yeah, there's a bunch of good um What do you call it? There's a bunch of good planeswalkers. Uh, for artifacts as well, so. It's a sin, oh my darling, the zip doo doo, the scoot it doo, and a batter skull in the heart of Kieran. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I just turned two mana flare into turn three, Amanatau's Augury. How did you do that? It's eight mana. Turn two mana flare. I don't know the cube well enough. I think it's batter skull, right? I have candles. Multiple candles? Wow. Candle of Tawin. <laughs> Mike's like, I don't even know these cards. Well, you know, I got the Candle of Tawin. Uh, that's, well, that's not a magic card, but I, I accept that you think it is. Candelabra of Taunos is, is what we're looking for here. Look, Dawn of Dreams and Echo of Eons. That's interesting. E of E and DFD in the same pack. Both, both very new blue cards that do very good things. 
I like Icker Wellspring. Uh, is that better than Dawn? No. Is it better in our deck? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Woo! All right. I went to train this new person, and they apparently have a more important meeting on their first day than IT training. I feel so under... Uh, excuse me, I have things to do. Oh, my bad. Meteor Golem came back? That seems good. Also, Vault of Whisper seems good, too. It's gotta be Meteor Golem, right? Like, it just kills anything. Do you guys know... You guys know how Destroy Target Permanent works? This is literally one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Great Furnace? Oh, Manifold. Untap another artifact? This could be good. Oh, God. It's got to be Great Furnace, right? I think it's key. I think it is key. Master comes back? Oh, baby, dude. I like key because if we have like, um, I take a pyroclasm. Oh my god, we just get to release the gremlin. Do we hate this? No, because no, because oh wow, Tangle Wire comes back too. Because we're not going to be necessarily playing against the same. Oh Jesus, this is insane. Right, like, Manifold Key on Staff seems insane. Like, it's also great if we get, like, any artifact, like a, like a Basalt Monolith. Like, Manifold Key has more upsides, I think. It's a sin. Someone's going to say smokestack because they always do, even though I don't think it's great. <laughs> tap Metal Worker, untap with key. Tap Metal Worker, cast my hand, your hand, every card in Magic's history. Good game. Uh, do you concede Chains of Mephistopheles? This is just too much to read, I'm going to be honest. I think it is Forge Master, right? None of these other cards seem super excellent. Prismatic Lens seems okay. I like Kozilek, especially if we're, like, mana-ing up. We could also take Eldrazi Temple, <clears throat> because playing Eldrazi is just fine. I kind of like Kozilek here. It's not an artifact, but it, I mean, like, we make a lot of mana. And it's a great payoff. Gilded Lotus? Volcanic Island, too? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is a revolting development. I wonder if the Gildas Lotus... The Gildas Lotus might come back, or Volcanic Island in the Grixis Cube but probably does not come back. Yeah, I'm going to take the Volcanic Island. I still want our lands to be, to be functional. Worn Power Stone? Pick Savannah... <laughs> What would I look like, Rob? Also, Agent of Treachery seems great. I'm going to take the Worn Power Stone because it goes great with Manifold Key. Sorry, Sacrifice all colored permanents they control.
it's got to be all his dust, right? It's a sin, my boo -do 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 -do. Mox Opal? Oh, is this a Mox Opal deck, boys and girls? Boils and girls? Hmm. Oh, man, we have Mox Opal and Duretti and Mindslaver in the same pack. And Inkwell Leviathan? Shit. We're, I don't think we're a Cruel Ultimatum deck. We're making way too much colorless mana, unfortunately. We just drafted Cruel Ultimatum. It was great. Is it Duretti? It's gotta be Duretti, right? Moxwell might come back. I doubt it, but I think Duretti's probably the pick. I like Bloodstained Mire here. It gets Volcanic Island and Watery Grave. It's actually really good fixing here in case we need it. Steel Hellkite's cool, but I mean, like, we're doing, I think we're doing just fine on, on heavy cards. I'd rather just have lands to play. Instant or sorceries, not what we're looking for. Finale's fine. It could just be Wandering Fumeral. We're not a Crucible of Worlds deck. I think it's just Fumeral here. Pia could be fine. I'm just not impressed with it. Oh yeah, Finale seems good because we're making a lot of mana. I just, I'm like, I don't have any problem taking lands though. If you are mono red, you could also be a Koth deck. That's true. We could just be like, get rid of you. Just play Koths. Narset is interesting. We could just play Emrakul. We get Emrakul is just castable, right? <clears throat> I don't think we're charting, of course, because we're not going to be able to cast it. But I think Emrakul is just Emrakul is a good payoff. <clears throat> Glint Nest Crane actually seems great. I didn't actually realize this This is as good as it is here. Yeah, I like Glint Nest Crane over Guardian Idol. Temple? Um. We do have Kozilek and All His Dust and Emrakul, actually. This is just a 1-3 Flying Impulse for the most part. I do think it's Crane. I think we have enough ramp. I'm going to take the Crane. Oh, dang it. It was, I mean, Temple and Crane, I think it's close. This just draws us a card, though, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 artifacts so far. It's just... Gilded Lotus came back. Oh, hot. Hot, hot days. Seat of the Synod? Okay. Matter Shaper? All these cards seem fantastic. Is Heart playable? I don't think so, only because it's Cruise 3. And we don't have, like, we only have, like, one Planeswalker, and I'd really rather not negative Duretti. It's good. We just don't have the power, I don't think. So, like, we'd have to hope to get either, like, Forge Master or Matter Shaper out. And then we're, or, like, Master. Like, we have three creatures that can crew it. Shrine? Sure. I mean, it's an artifact. <clears throat> and it's only a 4-4 flyer, so... Oh, I guess it is a 5-5, because the master is himself. Ha-ha! <laughs> touche, Joshua. Touche. Touche. Huh. I mean, this is actually just playable, right? 
Like, this is just a land that we can sack to add to. This is just a... Do you have enough color sources for Iron Shaper? I mean, we have... I mean, all of these produce colors, right? Talisman. Uh, worn Power Stone. Metal Worker. Maybe not. Lotus Bloom. Baleful Strix, which I love. Zealous Conscripts, which I love. Filigree Familiar, which is probably too cute. I think it's actually just Baleful Strix. It's just a great card. And it's a good thing to sacrifice to Forge Master. It draws us a card. It's a great defensive card. Hmm. I mean, the only other alternative, I think, is Zealous Conscripts, which is probably stronger, but... Oh, it's uh, it's harder to cast than Filigree Familiar for sure, but I mean, Death Touch, drawn a card immediately instead of when it dies. Come on, buddy, get it together. Why are you like this? Yeah, I'll take Baleful Strix. Coalition Relic. Treachery. Oh, we're definitely taking Treachery. Coalition Relic, I love, but Treachery, I love more. Wow, there's like so many powerful cards in these packs. Reality Smasher is even good. Hydro Blast is fantastic. It's definitely treachery. <laughs> guys, are we an upheaval deck? Are we an upheaval deck, guys? I think so. I feel like we are. Ancient Tomb? Mystic Forge? Demir Signet? Are we getting all three of the Signets? <sighs> Got the Vapors. Forge actually might wheel. There's four cards coming back. There's also 23 cards already. Tomb does seem the best, just because, like, it lets us play any of these on turn one, and it's also a colorless mana for a matter reshaper. I actually think Tomb is the, the pick. Is Sneak Attack good enough with Kozilek and Sundering Titan and Emrakul and Meteor Golem? I don't think so. Especially because we're just going to be casting these. I don't think I want City of Traitors. Oh, there's also Diamonds. So I guess there's, like, nine total, um... At least nine. No, there's more than that. There's, like, a, there's like probably, like, 12 two-drops. Because there's also, like, Guardian Idol. There was the Compass. Star Compass. There was also, like, that one from Commander. There was Mind Stone. There's, like, a bunch. I do think it's... and Actually, it might be Duplicant. I kind of like Duplicant a lot. Do we care about Canyons? Like, we don't have that many colored permanents. And we're going to be filling this with Basics anyway. Might just be Endbringer. I think Endbringer is really strong. I want to take the duplicate. I think duplicate's better because Enbringer's ability with to draw a card is too colorless, and I think that's actually relatively hard to do for us right now. So, <clears throat> Ooh, Mog the ceaseless hunger. Well, that is a card. Memory jar's good. I don't think it's an artifact card. It's more like a com combo card. I would take Ulamog and actually play it over the Emrakul or the Sundering Titan. I'm actually not a huge fan of Sundering Titan. I just feel like it hurts you a lot. Yeah, I think it's definitely a little mog here. And we'll just figure out what we're cutting. I don't know if I like Forge Master here, because a lot of our big threats are... Like, we're not going to really get anything with this. Tezzeret? Okay, Tezzeret's good. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Oh, Sundering Titan is strong. Everyone's playing the same colors. Yeah, because like if we both have, if we both have islands, swamps, and mountains, then like, that's a good point, guys. That's a solid, that's a solid point. <clears throat> Blade Steel Colossus. Could also just take Crumbling Necropolis. I 
Is it blight steel? Badger, take the blight steel. Okay. All right. Two for blight steel. It's good enough. That's all I need to see. Yeah, Star Compass is in here. Lotus Bloom is in here. Lotus Bloom could be good. Do we care about Manifold Key? I'm not sure if we care about Manifold Key. I feel like once we have like Gilded Lotus, we probably have enough mana already. I think it's just Tectonic Edge for the colorless mana. Spyglass could be very good for the sideboard. Spire of Industry is actually great, right? Also, Palladium Mirror. What's it like to, to want three cards and like when there's six cards in the pack? Yeah, I'll take the Mirror. Badger says Mirror. Sounds good. <clears throat> yeah, Key makes, key makes Blightstill Colossus unblockable, but I'm not really that concerned with it. Actually, Deluge seems great here. I feel like if we have an Oblight Steel Colossus, they don't have that many turns to begin with, so. Antiquities War or Nickel Bolas? Jeez. Antiquities War could just literally win us the game. Um, none of these cards are super great. This is 28 cards? Jesus. I guess we'll just take Jar here. We need some cuts, though, for sure. We need five cuts. Wow, that's brutal. I might just cut them out of Reshaper. Like, it's not an artifact. It doesn't really have a lot of great synergies. I could see cutting Forge Master, but, like, now that we picked up a Blightsteel Colossus, I'm less inclined to do so. I guess cut Emrakul. I'm gonna cut Matter Reshaper. I don't wanna have to worry about the the colorless and also like it doesn't ramp us, so I'm like eh. I think we do cut another big thing. We have four big things here. I think we can do a three. Kozilek is next to go. It draws you four cards and it has Annihilator, though. <sighs> is Blightsteel Colossus too greedy? Like, I've, I've, I really want to just cut Blightsteel and Forge Master. Because I really think we can win the game without them. Or Sundering Titan. But then we still have two more cuts to make, which is still not super easy. Look at the top five cards of your library and reveal an artifact and put it in your hand. So you draw two cards with this, and then all your artifacts become five fives. It's pretty good. Do we hear about Batter Skull? I mean, Batter Skull feels kind of cute. We can board it in against like aggressive decks. I mean, Tezzeret seems insane. I don't like. It's not going to help our mana though. Like, we're still going to have to run basic lands. Like, it's not like because these are colored, we're going to have worse mana. Because we're going to have to... We're not like we're putting in wastes, you know? Like, we're running swamps and, and mountains. Or swamps and islands. So, it's... I mean... All things considered. Tim, what's going on, buddy? We could actually play 16 lands. I could see that. I'm in. Do we actually need the, the tectonic edge now? Because, like, we have no... Yeah, I'm gonna cut the edge. We actually we actually have no cards with colorless mana requirements, so seat. Crystal Vein's still good. It comes into play untapped and we can just ramp for once. 
Plus, none of our cards are double except for Treachery, and we have plenty of blue sources. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blue sources. Seems very good. Probably good on ten for now. Black, we have uh, one, two. Let's go up to five. Actually, we have two signets, so this is like eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we only have like one red card. And we still got, we're going to cut an island. That seems fine. This seems great. I'm a fan so far. I like that it lets you add the... Oh, jeez. Turn 2 Metalworker seems fantastic, right? Like, then we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we can draw one artifact, we get turn 3 Ulamog. Yikes. Alright. Turn 3 Ulamog. Let's try it. I mean, this guy's probably dead, right? All right. It's funny that, like, I was... I don't know if I finished my train of thought. It was funny that you can add a bunch of white and and green mana that makes me laugh just a little bit oh artifact artifact oh god so close so you can reveal two this would be four mana or yeah four mana five six seven eight nine mana so we can play staff and master here but then we don't the problem is we don't get to ulmog after that I guess we can actually just play Staff here, which I think is totally fine. I don't want to wait a turn because I definitely want to play something here. So I'm going to play... Okay. Yeah, because Staff we can definitely like try to draw land something else. Also, next turn we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight with master. So we have to draw one artifact off of staff, and then we can we can still a little mog. So, and we just hope we don't die to. Uh, I hope we just don't hope we don't get stormed out this turn. I guess. Okay, okay. Oh, they're dead. They are the deadest. Well, not yet. We need one. We need an artifact, right? It's not an artifact. Yes! <laughs> Excellent. Real Forge Master, Master of Ethereum. Done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ceaseless Hungarios. Um, yep, that'll do. All right. <laughs> Turn four Ulamog is good enough, guys. It is good enough. It's a sin. I don't actually see anything I'm really, like, super excited about. A 
very soft sheep what's going on. Oh, this hand is not nearly as explosive, but I think it's still fine. We can get a volcanic island and we have all of our all of our colors. Talisman. This also prevents us from drawing that many more lands, so. I'm gonna go get a volcanic island. Triggered. Oh, thanks for the ten life, my dude. Too concerned. Can I get a land? That'd be great. Then we can go Gilded Lotus into Metalworker. <laughs> Even not, we can go Metalworker into make this a 5 5 attack you for 5. Oh, Faithless Looting. Oh boy. I wonder if we're dead here. Every time our opponent does anything, I wonder if we're dead. I'm like, oh, wonder if we're dead. Discarded Kess and a Dream Halls. Interesting. Oh, we hit a land. Everything is coming up a mill house. I think there's plussing again, right? Jeez, Tether. Oh, Seed of the Synod. Or is it Signet? No, it's definitely not Signet. We could go Seat. We could go land into Signet into. No, we can't. We're just gonna take. We're just gonna take the seat. We just have to not die next turn, I guess. It's a sin. One, two, three, four. We have four artifacts. So we deal eight. It's not terrible. Is it a player or planeswalker? They can deal two to Tezzeret if they wanted to. Uh yeah, it is two more mana next turn. I don't think we need it, but I mean you're right. It's not it's not no, it's not correct because we don't need it. Um I was more thinking of Tezzeret's ultimate, which is uh I wanted to have artifacts on the board. Same thing with Master of Ethereum. I was looking at this and this to put seed on the on the board rather than Metalworker, so. But I mean it, it, you're correct. Like if we just held it, we can play it next turn and also get the art the mana off of it. Right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 mana though. So I'm not super concerned. But all that aside, like I said, you guys are not wrong. So Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> It's a sin. Alright. I have five. Exile a card that's an instant or sorcery for each card exiled. Copy it. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Well, I think if they cast two more spells, we're dead. Jesus, what's even happening? I feel like we're doing so good, too. Oh! 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 
Oh, it's, oh, it's a miracle. Oh boy, do we Tezzeret to look for one more artifact or do we actually negative him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're definitely killing the Ari. I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing. Seven. So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen mana. So we have ten mana left over, so we can go three, four, five, and then even attack for five. Yeah. I think we can win. One, two, three, four, done. Um play this guy. Okay, so now we're gonna go three blue from you, play master. No, we can't win because we can't do both of Tezzeret's abilities here. One mana, we'll play Wellspring. Do we play a land yet? I don't think so. So what are we attacking for? Four, one, two, three. Yeah, we can't do everything here, unfortunately. Actually, we can, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This doesn't get anything, right? I think we kind of want the life here, though, right? I don't know. I think it's fine to just one, two, three, four, five, six to just 12 of them. Oh, it's twice number. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's fourteen. Yeah, we'll just tether at them. Yeah, okay. So they're at six. We're at twenty-two, and they have two cards in hand with nothing in the graveyard. Yep, that's wow. Our deck is sick. Oh, the War of the Spark Tezzeret also seems great in there. Sammy, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I'll keep this hand. This hand's a little slow, but it's got mana. It's got a metal worker. It's got colors, whatever. Colares. Uh, cube is going well. We'll avoid playing the seat just in case we draw, like, Ancient Tomb or probably even Crystal Veil. I'll probably Crystal Veil. just play Metal Worker on turn two. Crystal Vein? Crystal Vein. Electra Dominance. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Why does your why does your artifact deck seem better than mine right now? Oh no, this is terrible news. If you could meet any fictional movie character in real life, who would you pick? Fictional movie character in real life. That is a good question. Oh, she just dies? Oh, that's unfortunate. movie character in real life oh oh god inferno titan oh god seven mana oh that's worse huh 
Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. We could just play Tezzeret. They can attack it for three, so we go to one. Or we can play Antiquities War. They're both looking at the top five. <laughs> this gives us a way to deal with Chandra next turn, though. I guess so does this if we hit a land. I think we gotta go with Tezza right here. I feel like the odds of us hit not hitting an artifact in this deck is extremely low. We did hit three lands there. Thankfully we have seats, so we can actually go like play Palladium Mirror, make seat a guy. Yeah, the beer in the six mana buy a box, uh Tezzeret. I mean, I guess I hope you have nothing. And you have something. Yikes. That is what's known as a yikes. One yike for me. Dog. I feel like we're dead. And I don't say that loosely. Lightly? Yeah, they're just going to have ultimate Chandra next turn. Yep, that's pretty rough. Um, yeah, none of these cards really seem like they would help us here. They had they're like mono red. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can just. Uh, I mean, our hand was rough, but let's see if we can do any better. I don't love this hand. <laughs> But it's got a lot of colors. It's got at least one signet. I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe their hand won't be super explosive. I mean, this hand is not bad. The only thing, like, we like our deck has a bunch of signets. So, like, the only thing we could do better than signet is, like, if we had Metal Worker and they didn't have a way to kill it. So. We also have Forge Master now. No play. All right, well, no play for us either, but. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This is where they go like Basalt Monolith. Nothing again. Fascinating, 10 drop, okay. <sighs> Sadly, Blightsteel Colossus is in our hand, so we're not gonna be called out the Forge Mastering for it. I feel like this guy's dead, but maybe not on our turn. No? Okay. Sounds good. Seed of the Synod. Oh, that's interesting, because now we can cast Staff of Nin, and then we have an artifact to sacrifice. Play this. What are you doing? What's going on here? Was it Milk Puppy? I think it might have just been milk. I don't even know. I can check. Hold on. Let me just check. Uh, it's under this streaming tab. Commands.
Uh, it is... It's literally Milk of the Puppy. What can we get with Kadalcha Forge Master? Nothing great. Is there another six drop we can get? I don't think so. I think our deck is like... I think this and this were like the, the biggest top ends we have without Sundering Titan in the deck. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I could attack with it, but I mean, I wanted to keep it up in case they try to kill it. We can get something. I don't know. I mean, we can kill these servos pretty easily, which is nice. I mean, now that they have a Planeswalker, we're probably going to be attacking with it more frequently. Uh, we actually don't have Batter Skull in the main deck, so... What if we upheaval? One, two, three, four, five, six. What if we... No, there's no way to do it, right? No, we activate this and then we upheaval and... Re no, we can't because upheaval starts. No, we can't do that. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll just hit Sahili again. Yeah, we're just going to fetch and see what our options are here. Uh, Worn Power Stone, Talisman, Meteor, Meteor Golem seems great. Uh, Gilded Lotus, and Icar Wellspring. Yeah, so not a ton of art, not a ton of like big fat guys. We can get Metal Worker. I mean, it's not great though, we only have two artifacts in hand. Um... Let's actually just screenshot this to see what our options are. Still. Okay. Get Watery Grave. No. And we'll just pass here. So if we get Gilded Lotus, we're sacking 1, 2, 3, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 with the Lotus. So yeah, if we hit a land, we actually get to... Actually, we can just do it next turn, right? And get the mana. I'm actually probably just going to duplicate that because I don't feel like dealing with uh, Kaldatha Forge Master shenanigans. Oh, um, yeah, let's do that instead. One, two, three, four, five. Treachery, this guy. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually... Do we just upheaval here? Upheaval seems nuts here, right? We get to sack this guy. And... Sack these three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we just play Ulmog here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sacrifice three artifacts. Sacrifice seat this guy and this guy four five six seven yeah we get gilded lotus and where are you gilded lotus little mog get rid of this and this and we'll go to game three Well, I appreciate them drawing a card. They're like, you know what? I'll see what my X card is. We'll take it from there. And I'm like, yeah, buddy. Let's take it from there. 
<laughs> I'll make the shirt design if you want, Frank. Tim, I would love to see that. If you're if you're willing to do it, it's got to be like one of those old timey like. You learn something new every day. This hand would be great with one more land. I don't think we can keep it as such, though. Uh, this we can keep. Get rid of Wulamog here. Metalworker Ancient Tomb are the two cards that we're looking to hit off the top. Eh, I like Baleful Strix. Mono red deck with the Great Furnace and Fire Diamond. Nailed it. Titan, destroy their mountains? I'll get rid of one mountain. Oh, that's good. Jeez. That's a that's a thing I don't want to exist. Where's my ramp? Crystal Vein. Antiquity's War next turn is not terrible. Yeah, homage, sure. That's terrifying. All of these things are just terrifying. I feel like we're gonna lose this round because they're just doing, they're doing more efficient things than we are. Uh, let's take the Talisman. It's the cheapest card, and it also lets us... Um, on to, actually, maybe the Gilded Lotus was better. Talisman is a, a, a loss of one mana when you play it. Gilded Lotus is a loss of two mana when you play it. So actually, Gilded Lotus is probably better, but... I was more concerned with playing cheap things. And uh, making sure we can overload the board with a bunch of nonsense. Okay, so you hit a Mountain... They're drawing like three cards a turn too, which is not ideal. How can we dance when our biscuits are burning? Metal worker, huh? Or, uh, welder, rather. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, sure. Okay, so one, two, three, four, six. Go down to five. We can play Vane and Talisman and Forge Master, which I think is probably fine. So we can go Talisman, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's good. Two, three, four, Forge Master. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So now I have one, two, three, four. We have five creatures on board to, uh, to Antiquities War. They can block two of them. We'll see if that does anything. This guy can also just get Blightsteel Colossus. Homage again? Sure, we'll homage. Sarkon? That seems fine. Kill Baleful Strix? Yep. Wow. 
Wow. Scum City. Yep, that's pretty rough. I mean, we get we just get Blightsteel Colossus, right? EOT Blightsteel? Like, that seems nuts, right? So long as we don't draw it here. But then we get to duplicate and just steal something. Because, like, we get to go... We get to get rid of these, but we play a land. So we go five man, five, five lands next turn, and we'll Blightsteel. We'll have six lands. So duplicate can get rid of a blocker. And this guy has... This guy's also problematic, though, because they can do whatever they want. You can do whatever you like. Oh, and they're going to do it. Oh, God. Sundering Titan's coming. It still doesn't stop our Blightsteel, but still. Meteor Golem, Land, and Fire Diamond. Seems good. Oh god, they can and bring back Welder. Jesus. Oh god, it's Sundering Titan into fuck. Oh god. <sighs> Crying out loud. They can also sack their Sundering Titan. No, they wouldn't do that because then they have to kill two more of their lands. They just sack Forge Master, I guess? Or Coercive Portal, even. To get back Meteor Golem and kill our Forge Master, which actually just wrecks us. This far, it's crazy. And that's what they did. Wow. Wow. There's nothing we can draw here. That's not it. So we can go one, two, this. Yeah, this makes things pretty hard to deal with. I mean, I guess we can hope to dodge. I don't know, man. Like... I'm just gonna play it out. We're gonna see what happens. We got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So if we draw like Wilmog and they just don't have a way to kill Metal Worker, maybe we're doing all right. I have no idea. Wilmog again. They've also drawn. They're at 22 cards. We're at 20. They only really draw two cards more than this. That seems way inaccurate. Oh, they're at 20 now, so they drew two from Karanos. Still seems way lower than it should be. We drew a card off this and Baleful Strix and two offense. I guess we drew we drew four cards too. It's just not as consistent. That's okay. Dragon Boys. Go to 10. We can Meteor Golem and kill the Dragon, I guess? Or we can Duplicate the Sundering Titan. That's close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, we just cast that, right? Um, but then we just die to these two. Also, Sarkon. They have a lot of pressure is the problem. Because this is a 4-4 flyer. This is a 4-4 flyer. This is 8 in the air. And if this guy hits, then it's also 10. This guy's going to be tapped, so we have no ground blockers. <sighs> Blight's still so good here, but it's just not good enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 12 mana. That's so much mana. Welder cannot target your artifacts now. Uh, oh, yeah, they can. Wow, I forgot about that. So, yeah, we can actually... Uh, they'd make a sacrifice to Blight so they'll get back, like, Forge Master or Baleful Strix. Well, 
Ulamog would have been great. We can get rid of both the Flyers and then still have a blocker for the Sundering Titan. I mean, we could. Jeez. I just don't see a way to get out of this because, like, we're gonna have to block this guy. We take four and four. Like, we we can dodge one hit from this guy. So one, two, three. We're just revealing everything. We don't like. There's no secrets here. We could also keep up wandering funeral, I guess. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's right to kill this or the dragon, but probably that probably that because we can still duplicate the dragon and make a four four. We have one if you want to block here, block here. We take four, and we're not dead. I mean, they can literally go sack this, get killed off the forge master, then sack it again to get meteor golem, kill our blocker, and then just kill us. I don't know. This feels great. Yep. Pillage seems good. I mean, you just kill this guy, right? And then you attack for 12. If you alpha here, we just die, right? We block here, we take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we go to 2. And then any future Karanos just kills us. Oh, yeah, no, they could actually just pillage the, the Wandering Fumeral, too. So, yeah, we're just dead here. Oh, Duplicate is non token. Good, good call, Sammy. Good call. Good call. Not relevant here, but good to know. Really? Huh. Oh, I mean, they could just welder and, and blink out Mox Opal to kill this with Meteor Golem. Yeah, like, we're not gonna... Yeah, that match was rough. The deck was very good. All right, let's try it again. Yep, this is a hand, all right. I will keep it. And we can get a watery grave here, so we have all the colors. We can go Signet into Crane or Warm Power Stone. Meteor being non-land, like... It, I mean, it's relevant, but just barely. I mean, like, we're not going to win all of a sudden because... We got to throw away our land to a Sundering Titan, you know? I mean, I guess if Treachery was on top, maybe it's like a different story, but... Oh, heavens to Betsy. Do you just Metalworker next turn? I mean, we only have one artifact, so... I mean, the, the two we net is almost the same as just playing Worn Power... Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Um, well, we'll definitely play a land. So we have four, we can get six. Six either way. But this has the potential to be eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Especially with the Glint Nest Crane next turn. Yeah, alright. Probably better.
Okay. Okay, those are doing the same things. So that's good. In the sense that, like, they're both putting cards. Both of these, this and the other thing, can put cards in the graveyard. Oh, God. So... What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Let's go one, two. Crane. Get a Gilded Lotus. Any order of those. One, two. Um, this guy, reveal you and you. Done. Four, five. So we have three, four, five. Then we have no, no for Doretti too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we just play Power Stone here. And then hope we don't die to a Sundering Titan. Third string janitor, what's going on? Oh boy. We're trying to dodge one reanimate spell. Do -do 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 Okay. Oh, they're going to get three reanimate spells. Well, unless they all cost one. Chooses one. Oh, search order for three cards. Sorry, punish you. Yeah, we choose one. Put that card in your hand. We ch the one we choose goes into your hand. Okay. Well. I'd much rather this be Ulmog here. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Okay. So we can cast Kazi. We can actually cast Kazi and then Metalworker if we get more artifacts. We need a red source. Maybe like a red source and three artifacts. Uh, Corpse Dance, Vampiric Tutor. Which is the top card? The Sundering Titan, right? Or necromancy. I feel like I just want you to have necromancy here. Like we have more ways to deal with the necromancy itself. Corpse dance is rough, but they sacrifice it. Excellent at the beginning of the next end step. I don't want you to use that on multiple things, though. Like, getting back a Gristlebrand is pretty rough. Presumably, we're going to cast Kozilek, and we're, they're going to get a chance to do whatever they need to do. Tutor's not really an option, because then they, put just, they just put whatever they want on top. We have to assume that whatever they can tutor for is going to be worse than these two, right? So, like... Like, I, I imagine that in their 23 cards, they have a better card than these two. So giving them Tutor just gives them that card. The buyback does matter, but they only have four lands right now. It is turn four. And the, the thing is, they do get Sundering Titan first with Corpse Dance. Which I'm not too concerned with. Um, yeah, I'm going to give them Corpse Dance because... They get Sundering Titan, and they have to. They can't just immediately get Gristlebrand back, which is what I'm afraid of, because then they just draw 14 cards. Imperial Seal, sure. Boom, boom, doo, doo, doo. And they had the Imperial Seal the whole time. I mean, they'll have black next turn, though. Like, Vampiric Tutor's just going to put the card on top. So they're not going to have it till next turn, and then they have Dragon Skull Summit. Like, they're, they're going to have black next turn. I'm not concerned with them having black this turn. That's interesting. Huh. Huh. 
So the thing is, we if we cast Kozilek, we can't also cast Tezzeret. So right, like one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're only getting one artifact from Tezzeret. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to go Kozilek here. If we had one artifact in hand, it'd be great. It's one too few artifacts in hand, actually. Um. So they're just going to kill our three basics, right? So might as well play a swamp here. And then we can add one. Uh, if we had if we had one more artifact, we could have played Volcanic into Duretti. Unfortunately, we cannot. Might as well deal all the damage we can, I guess. I feel like we're still in good shape. Like, they're going to get rid of three lands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we still have eight mana. Tezzeret's still very strong with four artifacts, five artifacts on board. So they take ten, and then we have Annihilator. So, I don't know. It really depends on what they got and what they have. Oh, we just win the game. I guess Kozilek is, uh... Pfft. Oh, Treachery would have been insane. Alright. Well. GG's. G's is right. G's. Um, none of these... None of these seem great. Like, we have the island and the sideboard. Um... Harbinger actually could be decent. It's returning a tapped creature, though. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're fine like this. Deluge is an answer for certain things, but I don't know if we need it. TPO, what's going on? T Bombadil, I think I missed your resub, but thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. This hand is really slow, especially with a blight steel. It is a turn three power stone into turn four gilded lotus. <sighs> it feels really slow. Any signet here would be great. Yeah, okay. Also, we can go Lotus into Tezzeret, as far as I can tell. That seems good on turn four. We just don't have to, we just have to not die, I think. Is that worth a Worn Power Stone? Next turn, we would have a Tezzeret, then we'd have a Lotus. Maybe. Yeah, all right. Let's risk it for the biscuit. I mean, even if we don't, we're still just playing land, right? Yeah, we can just play Tezzeret next turn. That seems good. That seems better than uh, than just playing Worn Power Stone next turn. Oh god, they're gonna pillage our one power stone and it's gonna be so backbreaking. They did not do that. Well, I'll be. I will take. So next turn we're gonna go Gilded Lotus. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go Gilded Lotus into Palladium Mirror. Yeah, 
I'll just take a Breathful Strix here. Seems fine. Stay high bottle. You've been live for just over two hours by this. How did you, did you? What did you do though? I don't even know what happened there. Okay, if we can survive, I think we're good. Staff of Nin seems bonkers. See with the Synod? 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 Uh, I want to take the duplicate because if they have like a Gristle brand, I don't want them to have a Gristle brand. So. I don't think we have any responses, so I'm just going to. Kozlek into the graveyard. Into Corpse Dance with buyback. And we're dead. Yep, that's disgusting. Are we dead here? One, we can three, four, five, six. We're not really. We can just sack lands and tether it, and we still have like four mana. Or uh, three, four, five, we still have seven mana. Yeah, we're 100% sacking Tezzeret, which is totally fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we have seven mana. It's actually fine. I mean, we lose a lot of lands, but... Hmm. 28 to 26. This isn't really a threat right now. Una's Prowler is annoying. And because we only have seven lands and seven mana and no lands, we actually can't um, can't really do anything in terms of um, like upheavaling, playing a land, playing something else, like floating any mana. So one land and actually upheaval gets really good. So we'll see. But I think we're I think we're in good shape here. Land? Any land. Metal worker? We don't have a second color, which is a problem. Did they keep a card on top? They did keep a card on top. Oh Jesus. Oh, you just have wandering funeral, sure. Okay. All right, next turn could be great. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen mana. We can upheaval, float, seven, replay Lotus, replay Power Stone. I can't imagine that doesn't kill it. Can you quickly move the monoclin? Yeah, hold on. Okay, let me make sure it's... Should it be right or left? I don't know. Let me know if you got that. If not, you can probably clip it, right? Okay. <clears throat> Shut up and take 
take my money. One monocle bug. <laughs> good times, good times. All right, so what we can do is reveal one, two. Oh, I miscounted because I think I counted Ulamog as a as an artifact. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, we didn't. We're good. Should I attack first? No, because then they just wandering fumeral. So this leaves with seven left over. Or do we just want to play like Blightsteel? No, oh, fuck, just really. Could also play Ulmog. Just we could just play Ulmog or Let's play Crane here. I'll just whiff. Oh, no whiffs. Okay. So, any order. So now we're just like getting, we're just netting more mana here. One, two, three, four. Done. Nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we got smacked by an, we got smacked by an Emrakul, or a, a Kozilek, and we just sacked lands, and we still had seven mana left over. This is eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can upheaval. Again, we'd have seven floating. We can use five of it to play this. Then we have five mana. Or we can just play Ulamog. Let's just play an Ulamog. I think we're just going to wait to, to do this guy till the very end, right? So we're just going to play Wellspring here. One, two. Oh, did I mess up? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I got it. I almost, I almost messed up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to play Wilmog here. Right? I don't know, man. Upheaval's probably safer, right? We have no lands. See, the problem with Wilmog is, like, even if we kill two of their lands, like... They can still potentially, like, entomb reanimate, right? So, like, this should stop that. I mean, they could, they, if they have entomb, I guess it doesn't, but. So, we're going to go this guy into probably Metalworker here, right? That seems pretty bonkers. Seems bananas. B A N A N A S. Let's get rid of Glint and S Crane. Let's get rid of some non-artifacts, guys. We don't actually have those. And Duplicant, I guess. Could have gotten rid of Baleful Strix, actually, but it doesn't matter. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13 mana. So you can just Blightsteal. Or, I mean, we can just Ulmog. That probably wins the game, too. But who wants the Ulmog when they have one permanent? You know what I mean? Oh, look, see, we're helping them. We just let them discard. It's pretty brutal. Oh, land. How nice. Okay, so... Boom, 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 boom. That's a lot of mana. 12, 31, 15, 16. So, uh, we can go Colossus for 12, and then still have four mana left over. And Gristlebrand's a 7 7, right? So we actually wouldn't die to a Gristlebrand. Do we just Ulamog kill their fetid pools? I mean, that seems just good, right? I mean, it's, it seems greedy not to do that. Use all the mana. Come on. There we go. Choose two targets. Is it... Oh, I have to choose two targets? Uh... 
Oh, that's much worse. I didn't know I had to choose two targets. That's weird. I think I had you if you just cast a fanny and didn't upheaval. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing. I was like, all right, well, that's the end, I guess. I, I wanted to tap the blue to draw a card, but... I mean, it was too late. I was locked into targeting. I didn't know you, A, I didn't know you had to target with Ulmog, and B, I didn't know you couldn't just target the same permanent twice, but I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Check out patreon.com slash franklapore if you want to support the stream for less than $5 a month. Uh, if you want to donate a dollar or two dollars a month for the content that I produce on YouTube or Cool Stuff Inc., I really appreciate that. Check out coolstuffinc.com. A new article went up today about the ban and restricted list. Oh, I can tap. Yeah, actually, once I targeted it before it resolved, I could have tapped it. That's true if I hold down, like, control, I guess. Um, and check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service for physical paper cards or Magic Online cards. So uh, you get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code in the description. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.